All right, we're going to go over the practice problems um, from section 3.1, identifying pairs of lines and angles. I want to remind you about the objective or our goal for this lesson. Remember, it was to understand parallel, perpendicular, and skew, and to define six angle pairs between the lines. So I have some diagrams here, and we're going to talk about how to um, figure out which lines we're talking about, and then also how to draw according to directions. So. Make sure you have that um, goal copied, and then I will catch up with you here in a second at the bottom of the page. All right, our practice problems are going to be dealing with 2D and 3D drawings. That's two-dimensional and three-dimensional drawings. And that can just sometimes be challenging because we're working on a flat piece of paper. So when you're reading these, make sure that you are following along. Uh, the first question here says, um, how many planes are shown? So if I'm looking at this big, huge box here, how many planes would I see? And if I want to start highlighting some of these, you know, you have the one on the top and the bottom, and then you have the one on the left and the right. And then here's the tricky one. You have the one on the front, and then you have the one in the back. So for this guy right here, we have six planes that are shown in that box. Now, if we think about what we have here, it asks us to highlight the parallel lines. So when we're looking here, we're just going to take our pencil and just we can make some of these dark. Parallel lines, remember, are the ones that um, do not intersect, but they must be in the same plane. So if I look here, if I start with AB, what would be one line that would be parallel to AB. And a lot of times people find the other one on the top. A lot of times people find um, the one on the bottom. The one that's missed would be this guy right here. And notice that all four of those lines go in the same direction. And if they are all parallel, we would mark all of those with arrows. And so all of those have a single arrow. If we wanted to look at other parallel lines, again, we have the one that goes across the front. And then we have the one that goes across the back. And then on the bottom, we have two more that go left and right. If we want to show that all of those are parallel, we have to mark them with arrows. But we have to mark them differently than the first ones. So we marked those with double arrows instead of single arrows. Not to make the picture more complicated, but there is a third set of lines that are all parallel. You don't have to draw them on your paper, but I'm just going to show you what they are real quick. They are the ones that go up and down. And if I wanted to mark those, then I could mark those all with three arrows. Again, I recommend not doing that on your paper. You just have too much stuff going on. Now I'm going to erase that. Let's move on to the last question. It says, are perpendicular lines shown in the diagram, and how do you know? So when I look at this picture, the only way that I would know technically that lines are perpendicular is if they have a number 90 degrees by them or if they have the little box in the corner. So when I look really closely at the picture, I do notice that we have some perpendicular lines, and those um, are marked all with those little boxes. If I were to label those, I could say that AB is perpendicular to BC. Or I could say that AF is perpendicular to FE. Remember that this little mark right here shows me that those are perpendicular lines. We do have the third one there, AH, perpendicular with HE. Now I'm going to pause right there, and we're going to move on to the bottom where we're going to do some drawing. All right. So for this question, it asks us to use this triangle 
THL. You have that shown there. Before we get into that, I do want to go over and look at these um, questions that we have over on the right, something that's going to help you a little bit with your thinking. It says, what shows that lines are parallel and what shows that lines are perpendicular? So again, review. How do we show that lines are parallel? And that would be with the arrow. And how do we show that lines are perpendicular? And that would be when we put the little box in the corner. And then the next question here says, what shows that a second set of lines are parallel? And how do we show that we have a second set of lines parallel? And again, we would mark those with double arrows. So make sure that everything kind of jives out, everything matches up in your diagram. So now, let's go back over here. We are going to use this triangle THL, and we are going to do these three things to it. We're going to draw parallel, we're going to draw perpendicular, and we're going to draw a second parallel. So the first one says, Draw a line parallel to TH, and it has to go through L. What I like to do is highlight those things. TH is on top, L is on the bottom, and it has to be parallel to TH and go through L. That means the only option that we have for this question, if it has to go through this point right here, would be to run along the bottom of the picture. So all we have to do is draw a line. It doesn't have to be perfect. As soon as you put your arrows on there, then you are showing me that you understand that they are parallel, and that is good enough. The next question says that they want us to draw a line perpendicular to TH through L. So now we have to be perpendicular. So again, Here's my TH, here's my L, but now I'm looking for perpendicular. And remember, perpendicular means 90 degrees. So if I have to go through this point and be perpendicular to this, that means I have to go straight up. How do you show somebody that they're perpendicular? You need to put a little box in the corner, or you can write 90 degrees on there, either one. You have to include one of those to show that it is for sure perpendicular lines. Then the last question says that they want you to draw a line parallel to HL and go through T. So now we have to find HL. HL is this one and it has to go through T. So now we have to draw something that has the same slant as the blue line HL going through T. That simply means if I even cloned this, does it make sense that that guy has to go right through there? How do I show that those lines are parallel? I have to put my arrows on them, and I've already used one set of arrows, so I'm going to use double arrows on that, and that shows that those are parallel. This is for sure something that you need to be able to do. Um, you would probably see something like this on a test or a quiz, um, so you need to be able to read and then interpret and draw on the picture. Your drawings don't have to be perfect, you just have to have good marks. Good luck on your homework. We'll see you in class.